All right, let's get to it. So we are going to start. This video is going to be a typical warm up for an average student, not a beginner, not an advanced, somewhere in between. Um, and we're going to start with the ooh vowel and we are going to be singing mainly to two target pitches but what we are trying to do is to start on the bottom pitch and then move ever so slowly 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 up 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 until we hit that top pitch and then keep moving so we're creating like this sense of like circular pattern so what we don't want to hear is Ooh, it's the root and the fess. So what we want is ooh. So we're creating a, a nice, all the little microtones in between all of the pitches. So it's even small, the, the jumps between the voice as we're smoothly going around are even smaller than ooh even smaller than that. So we're moving as slowly as possible. And what you will find is that any gaps in your support will poke their heads out. And you, you might find that you can go, ooh. So what we're trying to do is just work on getting that circle smoother and smoother. So in the beginning, you may have some jagged edges, but just keep working on it. So ooh vowel, and we're singing ooh. If I do that, just keep singing. Ooh. Ooh. are an octave below me. So that was two octaves. We're going to come down, same thing. So just getting into it, taking your time. So we'll go a little more slowly and just really feel the, whether you're in head voice or chest voice, feel the weight of the note, feel the balance of the note. Try to make sure you're getting a nice centered ooh, like the hooting of an owl. So nice centered ooh, and don't forget about your the joy and effortlessness of singing, bringing that into this into your um, connection with this exercise.
try an ooey sounding ah. Oh. So it's a good sort of first thing to get your feet wet, um, get the pipes moving, get the muscles moving. Let's now move at a little bit of ear training into what we're doing. So we're still in the warm up phase and we're going to sing a minor pentatonic scale and we're going to go from an ooey sounding E to an ooey sounding ah. So even though with the exercise we're singing E and ah, we're actually thinking ooh the whole time. You're just singing ooh but with an E lip or an ah lip. So, the minor pentatonic scale sounds like this. So you can either think of it as um, Do, Ma, Fa, So, Ta, So, Fa, Ma, Do, or one flat three, four, five, flat seven, five, four, flat three, one. Solfege is a lot better for vocalizing on because you're singing vowels and you can really concentrate and focus on the shapes but it's helpful sometimes to use the numbers because it uh, applies directly to theory and it really helps you to, to know what note you're actually singing. So um, another, if you wanted to think, think of this more as the minor scale, you could think of it as la, do, re, mi, so, mi, re, do, la, but it's best to think of it as do so that we are hearing it in relation to the key. So let's um, just sing on an ooey sounding E vowel on the way up and an ooey sounding A ah vowel on the way down. So we're singing. E traditional sound here. I don't use that sound really in my singing but in technique and exercises it's really important to, to be singing um, the technically correct shapes. Yes. Reverse. 
verse. Start with awe. Remember, you're just thinking about ooh the whole time. So make sure it's authentic. Okay, so if you didn't know what the minor pentatonic scale was before, now you do. That's what it sounds like. That's what it feels like. Really good scale for everybody to get to know experientially. Um, okay, so let's work with just the minor chord. So we're just dropping one of those notes and we're going to work the diaphragm. So wake up and work it probably harder than it actually needs to work, but think of it this as kind of like sit-ups that we're doing for our, our singing sit-ups. So we're going to um, start on the an ooey sounding ah, and we're just going to sing ha 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 And what you want to try to do is sneak in a little breath after each one, making sure it's a rose breath. So sneaking in little breaths to, so you're constantly topping up your breath and you never are without a full tank of, of air. So big rose breath. Ha, 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 ha. So if I slow that down and I will make a loud breath so you can hear where I'm fitting the breaths in, but don't do it that way. Make sure you're, you're using rose breaths. So if we go ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. So put breaths in between each note, but they're just quick little rose breaths. So. Ha, 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 ha. And the way you do that is keep your throat open. Ha, 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 ha. Thinking ooh, the ooh shape. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. Reminding yourself, joyful, effortless, rose breath, and that support, thinking up, thinking up, especially when we're coming down. So let's try now on E. Men are down here. Hee 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 hee. 
effortless, effortless. Okay, so the last thing I would probably do in a um, warm-up exercise or warm-up uh, workout with an intermediate student would be to now um, work into some um, melodic sort of gap singing. So let's start with a traditional one and we will continue to work between the ah, the e, and then the grounding, rooting in the oo. So let's start with the oo, and we will sing Men are an octave lower. Switch over to an ooey sounding ah. Uh. Now, if you have the ability to wiggle your voice, create vibrato, totally do it in this exercise. If you don't know how to do that yet, don't worry, just sing how you're singing. But if you already know how to do that, um, and just the sort of fake it till you make it kind of attitude, it just helps us to expand on the bigness of the sound. So remember joyful, playful, just adventurous attitude as we go through this. It's not working, it's effortless. So on the we sounding ah, so much fun. Expanding on the experience. star. Shake that vibrato, wiggle that sound as, as big as you can. Let's try an ooey sounding E. As if these words are the most meaningful words to you, like what you're singing, you're so passionate about. So we're bringing that joy into the experience. Rose breath. Think up.
Last one. So there we go. So there's a good warm up. From there, in a private lesson, I would move into um, exercises, kind of tailored specifically for the one the student that's in front of me. So what I usually do is evaluate through the warm-ups and exercises where we need to go from there, and then. The last part of the lesson, we would be trying to apply these techniques into a piece of music. So what you want to do if you're doing this kind of work on your own is don't pick music that you've already sung before because you will be singing those songs with your old technique. So as you are starting to develop and build and strengthen new technique, pick new songs so that you're, you're, you're better able to just take this new technique into the song with you. So another reason why I say things like pretend that this E vowel is like the most meaningful lyric that you've ever sung is because we need to segue into these exercises into real music, into real melody. So we don't just get good at doing the vocal gymnastics, but we can actually apply it into music. So, um, yeah, that is the reason for all of that. So if you are going to take this technique and try to put it into music, make sure it's new music and make sure it's music you love, that you're really excited about singing. There is no point in singing songs that, don't, that you don't feel like you relate to. There's a zillion, gazillion, I don't even know if there's a word for how many um, different songs there are out there to study. And uh, it's really important to go from that sort of internal guide of, oh, I really want to learn that, or I really want to do that, or those lyrics really speak to me, or that style of music really speaks to me. And just go and explore for a while and try these new techniques. And if you get bored with that song or get bored with that style, then switch gears and go into a different style or to a different song. And the technique, you'll start to realize how this, the foundations of the technique can serve any style of music. Yeah.